Hi, I'm Cassandra. And I'm Mark. And welcome, welcome to, to our, our channel. channel. I've been a registered nurse since 2013, working in Jamaica, that's where I'm from. I started working on a med search unit and then I went to the emergency room. From there I came here in the United States, Louisiana to be precise, and I've been working in med search and that's where I met Mark. And we decided that we're going to start this channel to share our journey and our experiences with you. We were like talking about how our process and how it went for us and so we decided that we would want to share some information with you to make it easier for you to come here and so we're going to be doing videos on how to choose a company how to choose an apartment or orientation process and just how the whole process is going for us right now so if you're a nurse who is actively filling out your application to come here to work in the united states you're just thinking about doing it this is the channel for you we look forward to sharing this exciting journey with you I am from the lovely island of Trinidad and Tobago. For those of you who don't know where that is, it is in the Caribbean. I was trained in Grenada and I went to the Bahamas to work. That's where my first job was. I worked med surge and then I went into peds. While I was working there, I was peer pressured to come to the United States to work. Thankfully. <laughs> and while working here, I came in 2018 and last year I met Cassandra. We decided that we we're gonna make this channel to help you guys with your transitioning period and for to share tips for while you're here. So please like, share, and subscribe to our page. And if you have any Thing that you would like us to cover or if you have any you would like any more information please comment down below and we look forward from hearing from you soon thank you thank you bye, bye. hello guys welcome back to our channel for those of you who are joining us for the first time my name is mark and i'm cassandra and welcome This channel is about our journey as international nurses coming to the US. So if you are a nurse or you're just interested in gaining information on how to get to the US, this channel is for you. Today, we'll be discussing our company, O'Grady Payton International. O'Grady Payton International is a healthcare company that helps international nurses find jobs in the United States of America. They provide jobs in various locations, they help international nurses get their nursing license, they provide a competitive salary with great benefits, and they also provide sponsorship for permanent residency. So, if you're a nurse with a Bachelor of Science degree in nursing from a recognized institution, you are fluent in English, both written and verbal, and you've been working in an acute care setting for at least 12 months or one year, then guess what? You've actually met the requirements to apply to a Grady Payton International. Applying to O'Grady Payton is very easy. All you have to do is go on their website and fill out an application and submit it. The link is in the description box below. Once the application is submitted, someone will contact you from the agency. When they do, that is the opportunity that you have to ask all the questions that you need to determine if this company is suitable for you. After that, they will give you a screening test. It's a simple test. It's very easy, and once you've completed that, then they will schedule an official interview with you, and there your journey begins. Preparing for the NCLEX examination is a very crucial phase in the entire process. It was a challenging time for me, but O'Grady made sure that I had someone to guide me every step of the way. I had a mentor who ensured that I did all my weekly readings and I did all my weekly exams that were assigned to me. I had to sign up for a Kaplan review course, 
which I paid $200 for at that time. O'Grady Payton determines your readiness for the NCLEX exam with their own exam. In my case, when I passed that exam, O'Grady scheduled my NCLEX exam. They paid for my accommodation to sit the exam in Florida. They paid for my flight to go to Florida to sit the exam. And they also gave me clear instructions to get to the exam center. Two days later, I was called with the good news to say that I was successful in my exam. Oh, yeah. When it was time for me to do my interview, O'Grady assigned me a clinical specialist who interviewed me. That interview was just to determine my knowledge level and my clinical background. She also gave me a few tips on how to prepare for my upcoming interviews. Later on, O'Grady sent me an email with a list of potential interview questions that I used to help me to prepare for my actual interviews. These questions were similar to those that were asked in the interview and that helped to boost my confidence. Once you have successfully passed your NCLEX, then your immigration process begins. Please remember to submit all your documents in a timely manner. Immigration process usually takes 10 to 14 months. There are many factors that may cause a delay or expedite your process. My journey, it only took me six months. I wrote NCLEX in April of 2017 and I completed it and I was able to travel in October 2017. There are costs that is associated with the immigration process. You do have to pay $220, that's how much I paid for my visa screen printing. And then there was that $345 for the National Visa Center. That's where you get your initial immigrant visa. When it was time for me to leave Jamaica to come here to the United States, it was a bittersweet moment. It was time for me to leave my friends, my family, my co-workers, and everything that I'm accustomed to, to come to a new country. Lucky for me though, I was coming with my husband, and as we know, home is where the heart is. Aww. With every other phase, O'Grady assigns a support person to help you. Before we came here, we had someone to help us to choose an apartment. She ensured that the apartment was in a safe area. And for those of you who are coming with uh, children, they'll give you information on different schools and daycare. They also referred us to a car company and we started the process of buying our car before we came here. They paid for my flight to come here to the US. And when we arrived at the airport, there was someone there to pick us up and take us to our hotel. He took us the next day to our apartment, which O'Grady paid two months rent for. And she also helped us to buy groceries. She helped us to buy our phones. She helped us to open a bank account. She gave us a small tour of the community that we're going to live in. And she even brought me to my hospital just for me to know where it is. She also helped me to buy um, my scrubs before I started working. She stayed with us for an entire week and overall she just helped us to get more settled. Overall, I would say O'Grady made the transition process so much easier for us. Now for the best part, salary. O'Grady Payton International pays one of the highest rates for international nurses care in the U.S. The typical contract is 4,160 hours, which works out to be about two years, but you do need to finish the 4,160 hours. You typically work a 36 to 40 hour week. They do have something that I love, which is called a 36 hour guaranteed work week. With that is, if you work, for example, a 36-hour week, which is three 12-hour shifts, and your hospital calls you off for 12 hours, then you still get your entire pay for that week. There are three things that influences your salary and your contract length. It is your specialty, the hospital that you work at, and the state that you work in. You typically get paid bi-weekly, which is good because where I came from, I got paid monthly. I love the bi-weekly pay. Now for the other stuff, the breach. Please do not breach your contract. 
and make sure that you read your contract thoroughly before you sign it. Make sure you understand there is a hefty, hefty, hefty cost assigned to breaching your contract. So make sure and read your contract. Once you've completed that 4,160 hours, you are free to do as you please and live the American dream. If you would like to know what our pay rate is, and you would like to know the cost of breach of contract, please email us. Our email is in the description box below. We'll be happy to answer any of your questions. O'Grady Payson has a team of support specialists to guide you every step of your journey. And that's the exact reason why I would recommend O'Grady Payton International. And as you've heard Mark said before, the length of contract, that's something to look into. You have to admit guys, the length is really short, just two years. Thank you for watching and please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Subscription is free, so all you have to do is just click, click that, that button. button. Hello guys, how are you doing today? My name is Mark and I'm going to be covering Avance. So Avant has been around since 2003. It is an international recruitment agency that not only recruits registered nurses, but also physical therapists. All you need is one year of postgraduate experience from a tertiary level facility or a large secondary facility which has at least 80 beds. It must be an inpatient facility. A BSN is preferred for registered nurses, but it's not required. To apply to Avant is very easy. All you have to do is go on their website. The website is in the description box below. Once you apply online, they will contact you. You do have to do a pre-screening exam before you are able to continue with their process. Once you've completed your interview and you've already gone over your clinical skills with them it is time for you to do your NCLEX. Avant has a rigorous program that they have put in place for their nurses. A lot of the nurses that I've known they say that it is hard but they are able to complete it and all of them have been successful. Once you've already studied for your NCLEX they pay for your accommodations to come to the US and to write your exam. From there, the next step is to go into the interview for your immigration visa. The company sponsors visas for anyone in your family, your immediate family under the age of 21 and your spouse as well. They will pay for you, but you would have to pay the cost for your family. Also, there is a cost that is attached to the visa screening process. And I believe that cost is $540. Once you've gotten your visa and you're ready to travel once you reach in the United States there is a transitioning program that Avant offers which is an excellent program so those persons who feel like they need that extra help or that extra handhold this is for you they help you to transition into your new role here in the US so there you would do your ACLS you do your skills lab they'll teach you about managing conflict They'll teach you about cultural and clinical differences here in the U.S. You get to do some shadowing and some clinical rotations and a lot more that they help you with. My friend who is with Avant right now, she is enjoying it and she actually loved the fact that they did this. And so you spend a couple of weeks in Florida and then from there, once you've passed everything, then they will send you out to your state. When you've reached your assignment, there is someone that's there to help you along the way. So they'll help you get your car, they'll help you get everything that you need to get so that you'll be more comfortable and you'll be able to continue on. Now they do have a referral bonus that they do offer. I've had received referral bonuses from Avance before and the person I've persons I've referred have been successful and it was a great fit. The contract hours for Avant is very interesting. The hours is 5,200 hours if you've already completed your NCLEX prior to coming to the US or prior to doing it with an agency. You've done it basically on your own. But it's 
6,240 hours if you're going to do your NCLEX through the agency. Now, over time, do count. So if you worked the 6,240 hours, that's about a little over three years you can work you can shorten the length of your contract to less than three years if you do work over time thank you so much guys for watching remember this video is just an overview um, it's just to give you some information about the companies make sure you do your research to decide which company is best for you thank you bye please remember to like share and subscribe hello guys welcome my name is Cassandra and today I'm going to be sharing information with you about MedPro Healthcare Staffing. MedPro Staffing is a Joint Commission Certified Provider of Staffing Services. MedPro recruits healthcare professionals here in the United States and internationally. If you're a medical technologist, or a therapist, you may want to check out MedPro's website. The link to their website is in the description. To work with MedPro, you must have a valid license in your professional discipline. You must have one year current experience and a minimum of two years experience in your specialty. To apply to MedPro, go to their website and fill out their online application. The link to their website is provided in the description. You must pass the NCLEX exam in order to move forward with MedPro and also to obtain your U.S. nursing license. Not to worry though, MedPro has a team of instructors that will provide a comprehensive review of the NCLEX exam. They have multiple resources including live webinars, personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching, and a dedicated guide to keep you on track. My friend said once she was ready to sit her NCLEX exam, MedPro paid for her exam, paid for her flight to sit the exam here in the United States and also paid for her accommodation. According to my friend and her experience, when it was time for her to do her job interview, MedPro provided her several job options to choose from. They also gave her a list of potential interview questions and they did give her tips on how to prepare for her interview. As per MedPro's website, once you've passed your NCLEX, they will get your labor certification approval from the U.S. Department of Labor. They will then file an immigrant petition for alien worker, that's the form I-140, with the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS. Once your I-140 is approved, the petition will then be sent to the National Visa Center, NVC, and a case number will be assigned to your petition. You will then be required to pay a fee. Currently, the fee is $345. My friend said that MedPro paid this fee for her. Once the fees are paid and your required documents are submitted, then an appointment will be scheduled for your immigrant visa. This may take weeks to months. My friend said her process took less than a year, despite the fact that her I-140 was delayed. Before you leave your country to come to the US, MedPro assigns a housing relocation team who will educate and advise you on selecting appropriate housing. MedPro has an orientation period for their nurses before they actually start working. Some persons secure their jobs before they arrive to the United States, while some persons secure a job during this orientation phase. MedPro has a support person in every department. They have a housing guide who will help you with housing problems. So if it's a case where you're having problems with your current apartment, they will help you with that. If you need to move from your apartment, they will help you with that as well. They also have a journey guide who will help you with any problems that you may encounter. MedPro's contract is three years. If you breach your contract and you have one year remaining, you're required to pay $9,000 to $12,000. If you have two years remaining, you pay $18,000 to $24,000. 
Approximately two years ago, my friend's starting salary was $26 per hour. The hourly rate increased by $1 yearly. If you work as the charge nurse, you're paid an additional $2 per hour. If you work as a preceptor, you're paid an additional $1 to $2.50 per hour. As you would have realized, the information concerning salary and breach of contract was solely from my friend's experience with the company. These are some of the things that I would recommend you ask the company directly before signing your contract. So if you have signed with MedPro or you're in the process of coming to the United States with MedPro, I really hope this information was helpful for you. If you have not yet signed with MedPro, MedPro has a star bonus package. Please check it out you can earn up to $11,000. Thank you so much for watching and bye. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Mark and I'm Cassandra. And today we have a special guest with us. Her name is Stacy. She's going to be talking to us about her company, Interstaff. Help us welcome Stacy. Hey Stacy, and how are you doing today? Hi guys, I'm doing good. Thank you for having me. So Stacy, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I've been a nurse for the past nine years. I'm also trained as a registered midwife and I'm currently working for Interstaff. Okay, now that you've mentioned Interstaff, tell us about Interstaff. Interstaff, they're a company that recruit international nurses to come and live and work in the United States. What are the requirements for Interstaff? Interstaff requires you to have at least two years clinical experience. Um, you should have a current nursing license in the country that you're practicing. Um, a BSN, a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing, is a plus for you, it's an advantage. So you said that a Bachelor of Science in Nursing is a plus, is it like persons who don't have a bachelor's can apply or you must have a bachelor's? No, they will take persons who have an associate degree in nursing as well. They do? Yes. That's interesting. Uh -huh. Tell me, how do you apply? Applying to Interstaff is pretty easy. You just go on their website and uh, you just follow the instructions from there. And the link is provided in the, in the description box below. So you've already apply, spoke, applied and spoke to someone in Interstaff. The next step would be the NCLEX preparation. Yes. Tell me, how does Interstaff prepare someone for NCLEX? Personally, I did not use Interstaff to prepare for my NCLEX. Okay. But what I do know is that they will provide a subscription of UWorld for you once you have met their requirements for their online classes or courses that they require you to do. And if you do apply to Interstaff, mm -hmm. already passing your NCLEX, okay. they will give you an NCLEX bonus. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. So tell me about your personal preparation for NCLEX. Well, I use a lot of resources, um, textbooks, um, online courses and materials, as well as um, other social media platforms. So there are persons who have different channels who, have, who offer different um, information that I use. It took approximately six months to get all that information and to prepare and be ready. You've passed your end clicks. I know that must have been an exciting time for yes, you. It was yes, for it me was. too. Yes, mm -hmm. it was for me too. And now it's time for job interviews. How was that process for you? It was pretty easy. Being that uh, we actually met persons or representatives from Interstaff. They did mm -hmm. come to Jamaica as well as the hospital that we were going to they were offered us a job so they came on site and did an on-site interview with us really yes that's amazing it is i never actually knew so that. we actually met persons from the hospital that we were going to, to work, work. Yes. so they, they came to jamaica that's correct right? yes that's wonderful how was your immigration process like it was pretty straightforward from the time you you get your letter with the date that you're supposed to go to your embassy, start collecting your civil documents and whatever information they need from you and your family, you start gathering those. Mm -hmm. and, and then you look up whatever information your 
embassy or consulate in your country requires so you make a note of those before you go okay yes. were there any fees associated with this yes what type of fees did you have to pay for you would have to pay for your medical okay there's a medical that is um, stipulated or required by the US Embassy that you have to do and it's done by a designated hospital so that cost is on you the nurse what about immigration fees did you have to pay any specific fees no no they paid for everything else yes because in terms of coming here to do my exams as i said before i did not prepare with inter staff i had already had my NCLEX, so they would have um, passed that information on to who required an NCLEX. okay so you've gotten your green card now and you're ready to come to america <laughs> So tell me, what what was the transitioning process like? What did they offer you? Did they have someone here? Like, tell me a little bit about that. Well, um, we were actually sent photos of the representatives from the company, how they looked and who were supposed to be looking out for. When we got here, they met us at the airport. Um, we actually stayed at a hotel until our apartment was ready okay. and then during that time we had a meet and greet with the nurses who were already here in the area who was okay. familiar with the process mm -hmm. so they could tell us um, how their experience have been and what to, what to um, do or how to be prepared. Oh that's nice, yes, that's very nice. Yes. So did they help you to find an apartment? Yes, we actually found an apartment before we got here. So that was all arranged before we got here. So when we got here, all I had to do was sign a release. Okay. Right. Yes. Interstaff, actually like, did they send you a list of apartments to choose from or did you have to do your own research? They actually provided that because they've been in the business for so long, they know the apartments and who are close by, which areas are safe right. and which would be affordable for their nurses. Um, they would probably provide a list but then the option would be for you the decision would be for you to choose that, right. that particular apartment Stacy why did you choose Interstaff there are a lot of companies out there but why Interstaff personally for me Interstaff was my best bet being that they are a company that is willing to assign a nurse or to take on a nurse that has been working in a tertiary type institution so most companies will not will will take nurses from a type type A hospital, which has which offer more clinical, more specialized area. Mm -hmm. A tertiary type institution is a hospital that has two hundred beds or probably less, okay. and they, they don't really offer specialty areas. So Interstaff is one of the few, mm -hmm. if not the only company that will offer a nurse a contract. How long is the contract with Interstaff and what's the pay like? The contract with Interstaff is three years and this is in conjunction with you completing 6,240 hours. So this goes um, hand in hand. Mm -hmm. So you can't complete the hours without completing your three years. Oh. Yes. Now if you breach your contract, um, there is a sum of money that you will have to pay and all of that is outlined in your contract. What is your pay like? The pay varies based on your contract, which state you're in, which hospital you work, uh -huh. and uh, you get paid bi-weekly. Okay. Yes. And you're guaranteed 36 hours per week. Oh, yes. so you're guaranteed 36? Yes. Okay. And that's good because if you don't, if the hospital calls you off, you still get a good salary yes, so that's good that they have that in there and what would you tell our viewers out there would you what advice would you give to them if you're interested to, in coming to live and work in the US um, if you're signing up with an agency the bonus is that you can come with your family mm -hmm. so please please do your research each company offers their own benefits mm -hmm. So do your research, choose which is best for you and your family, because uh, there's many factors in, is there good schools in the area? I mean, shopping centers, whatever. So you choose which company is best for you, do your research first before. 
Thank you so much, Stacey, for taking time out of your very busy schedule to be with us today. It's been a pleasure. We really, really appreciate it. And to our viewers, thank you so very much for watching. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email us. Our email is in the description box below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.